hey, hi, I'm Chris and Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. I'm just checking out these trick noisemakers and going over today's science file. And today's science file, it says, How can some fireworks ignite without fire? Well, that's a great question. Try this. You will need some mild explosives and an adult. Today, we're talking what some people consider fireworks. <laughs> no, 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 not the ones with the showers. <laughs> I'm actually talking about these little trick noisemakers because today we're gonna find out how these things are able to ignite without any fire at all. All right, first up, the good old fashioned snapper because there's nothing like a good old snapper. <laughs> up next, oh, oh, I've been shot. <laughs> Kidding, ha <laughs> ha, it's just these little party poppers. <laughs> Ready, here we go. And finally, three, two, one. Three, two, one. So, how are these fireworks able to create a bang without fire? Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look at this. Snappers are actually grains of sand wrapped in tissue paper. These sand grains are coated in a small amount of the chemical silver fulminate. When these snappers hit a hard surface, the grains of sand compact, creating friction. This friction heats up the chemical coat, causing it to ignite. As this ignition expands rapidly, it bursts through the tissue paper, creating a snap. Party poppers contain an explosive charge made up of a gunpowder paste wrapped around a string in the neck of the popper. When you pull the string out of the charge, the string rubs up against the gunpowder paste, creating friction. This friction heats up the paste, causing it to explode. The explosion pushes on the streamers and confetti inside the bell and pushes everything out. The paper cap at the end helps to create more pressure inside the bell. Pull string crackers work by coating a string in a small amount of gunpowder mixed with potassium chlorate. The string is put inside the tube in such a way that when pulled creates friction. This heats up the gunpowder, causing it to ignite. The paper tube explodes, creating the loud crack. <laughs> Trick noisemakers are not actually fireworks because they don't contain enough firepower to create more than a simple bang or flash of light. So now you know how things like these can ignite. You know, using friction to explode fireworks is why science is so cool. Well, that's a great question. Try this. These things don't want to work. Yeah, they don't. <laughs>